One of the most common applications where you'll deal with Install Shield Script is QuickTime 7. So we'll start by downloading the QuickTime 7 standalone player from this link here. We'll just go ahead and save this to the desktop for now. Now that we have our internet executable downloaded, we can just double click on it here. We're prompted for a language. In this case, we'll just choose English. And at this stage, the files in the self-extracting executable are placed in the temporary directory. This is very typical of a setup that you download from the internet. Once the welcome screen appears, we know that the decompression is complete and we can go into the temp folder and find our source. Sometimes a directory is hard to find um, depending on how messy your temp folder is, but in this case here we have it. There's our source files for the actual installation of QuickTime 7. So we'll copy these because this is a temporary location. If we were to quit the setup we'd lose them. So we'll make a new folder to store our package source files. Eventually we'll place this on a network share for deployment. Paste in our temporary files. Now that we have what we need, we can go ahead and quit the setup. And we have what we need. Now, just so we can see what happens when you do run the installation without Install Shield Script, or without the setup EXE in this case, we'll go ahead and kick it off. This is what you'd run into with Group Policy or anything else. It warns you that you must use the setup EXE provided. The first method we're going to go into here is the creation of an MST that removes the custom action that checks for the setup EXE. So we'll go ahead and create a new project to transform, and I'll put it in the same location as where we've stored the vendor files. It asks for a base MSI file name, which is the MSI for which we would like to create the transform. So we'll go ahead and pick that. And then we have the opportunity to provide any additional transforms that may be required. And in this case, this one does come with a language transform, um, the English language, 1033, for this localized setup. Um, but in the case of QuickTime, it's not actually required, so this is an optional um, parameter here for QuickTime. And we're not creating a response transform. That would be to answer the wizard and get those properties. We're going to edit directly. So now that we have our transform, we can go in, and the place you'd like to go for this is under Behavior and Logic, the Sequences section we can see all the different sequences that take place during this particular Windows installer installation. And it's this on check silent install that we want to delete. There's plenty of other references to install shield script here, these IS script or IS prefixed custom actions, but they don't harm anything. Um, they do their job, so it's just the check for the setup EXE that we want to remove, and that's all I've deleted here. So let's just go ahead and try this out. We'll call MSI exec slash i for install. And first we're going to install IS script because without the install shield script engine, this MSI is going to fail. All we're doing here with this transform is keeping it from doing that check, which requires that it be called from the setup exe. So the install shield script engine is installing now and you could assign this through group policy. You might have different versions on the network that you need to account for of install shield script. Uh, you can see this is up to version 11. Now we'll go ahead and call the QuickTime MSI and we will specify the transform we just created. Remember that's transforms with an S and as a public property it is of course uppercase and I'll do QB again so we just see the progress bar.
Next thing we're going to discuss is how to avoid the check by using the IS setup driven property. First of all, like I said before, you have to have install shield script engine installed in order for bypassing these checks to do you any good. So let's take a look at what happens when you don't have install shield script engine installed ahead of time. I'm going to pass the IS setup driven property. We're tricking it into thinking that it's being called from the setup exe. And of course we don't have the install shield script engine so it's telling us you need to have it installed. So let's go ahead and install the install shield script engine first so we can see our passing of the property be successful. Now if you're installing this through group policy or some silent method even if you were using QN here from the command line, you'd see these same errors that you need the install shield script engine, that it has to be called from the setup exe. They would just be available for viewing in the application event log.